Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're gonna go over the different type of strainers that you're gonna use. Yes. We've got the Hawthorne strainer, the Julep, and the Sieve for some double straining. That's right. Mm -hmm. Those are the, kind of like the magic trinity of strainers. That's right. Not magic. Holy trinity. The holy trinity of strainers. Yes. I like that. That's if, it was, if it was magic, one would like, <laughs> oh my god, one would suddenly be just vanished by now. Right. Or just make the ice magically disappear. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think we should do a cocktail, kind of like Houdini. I'll put you in a straight jacket and then hang <laughs> you upside down from the rafters. That would be awesome. The Houdini. We could really do that. I don't think we could hang you from that thing. <laughs> All chained up. You have to be hanging outside the window, like above some clock tower, 30 stories. You know, I just, I just read something about Houdini. And, you know, escaping from the straight jacket apparently is easier if you're, like, hanging from your feet. Oh, really? Because it stretches out your body a little bit. So then he was always... Yeah, so yeah, it's like, sense. you put it on here, he's probably like, you know, kind of bulked up like I am. Yep. And then, so they do it tight, and then when he's hanging, he probably relaxes he more. Relaxes. And there's more room to move around in there. Yeah, yeah. You think he was double jointed? Probably was. Yeah. You know, what you could do for a drink is, you know, a lot of the times they put him underwater. Then you have to escape up from underwater. Yeah. So you could do a drink where you throw some olives or something in there where it's at the bottom, and then it magically floats to the top. Of what? Of a, of a swimming pool? No, and of the drink. Oh. So you throw the olives in, and they're at the bottom at first, but then they magically float to the top. I don't know how we could do that. I know how we could do it. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. We'll I, like how, I like how your mind works. <laughs> we'll make it. Well, the holy trinity of, of strainers, what we have is the Hawthorne strainer. Um, this is best used for uh, when stirring in a Yari glass. You can put it right on there. It fits neatly. Yep. You can use it here on this glass. Yep. And uh, you can also use it on the metal part of the Boston Shaker. Nice thing about it is it quickly adjusts to the size of any glass that you're using. And the spring then will strain out any large pieces in the ice. Yep. So now the uh, julep strainer is uh, real quick and convenient uh, to be used right on the uh, Boston Shaker part of the uh, glass part. Yeah. You can just throw it right on there and you're ready to go. This I think is probably the Bar tool that is the least amount of money to produce. I mean, really, it's a piece it's of real simple. It's a piece of tin, mm -hmm. and they like have something that they just stamp it in, right? Right. And then they got a quick weld that thing on there, I guess. Probably costs like five cents to make. Yeah, and it's fast, so a lot of bartenders that's why they like it. This was originally made, you know, it's a julep strainer because back in the day, when the ladies were at the derby, dressed in their finery. With their hats. With their hats. <laughs> Some of those hats had like actually live animals in them. <laughs> right. Like they had squirrels running around this one lady's hat I saw. Or that might have been a dream, I'm not sure. Or it's just a raccoon that's wrapped up on their head. <laughs> oh they yeah, maybe that was it. And skin it. They just But this is not a julep glass, obviously. Right. But they would use this to keep the ice back. So you know how you're drinking sometimes? Especially when you have those annoying ice cubes that are from your refrigerator. And they stick together. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it comes at once. Yep. Well, if you're dressed in your finery, you don't want ice going down your blouse. No. So this was originally made like so you could sip your julep. Mm -hmm. But it was quickly uh, adapted to be a bar tool, and it's very handy. Definitely. Definitely. All right. So then also we have the sieve for double straining. So really what you can do is... You know, if you really want to take out both the large pieces and the real fine pieces, you can double strain. Yeah. Like in our coconut milk punch, mm -hmm. where we muddle cardamom pods, and you have all sorts of little crap floating in there, it's, not, it's going to make it through the spring of the Hawthorne strainer. Right. But nothing's going to make it through this thing, right? No, nothing. This would probably stop a bullet. And, you know, if you've got drinks that have some pulpiness to it that you want to strain that out after... Right. Muddling different kind of fruits and things like that. Yeah, so, yeah. that's good. Mm -hmm. Should we like show them in action? Yeah, let's do it. it. All right, let's make a martini. How's that? Sound? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. You want to do it in what? The Boston shaker? Let's do it in the Boston shaker. All right, ice. Yep. That's your job. That's your oh. cue. I was we waiting need... for my assistant. Yeah, we need the director up there that says <laughs> ice fill ice. Oh, <clears throat> put a little vermouth in there for. Yeah. Unless you want it dry. 
Okay. <laughs> that was enough. We talk more about our mixing glasses on our mixing glass video, which is just a riot. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. But we also instruct how to shake and everything as well. Shake it, but don't break, don't break it. it. I wonder who first said that. I don't know. I say that all the time. It must be from a movie. It's got to be. So you can see it's got all the ice strained out. It's a real quick pour. Yes. That's so, the main advantage of this over the cobbler shaker or yep. the three piece shaker is that if you want your cocktail fast, use this thing. If you're serving a lot of drinks or you're bartending, you're gonna wanna use this. Okay, let's do this just for yucks. Let's pour this back um, into the glass of a Boston shaker and strain it with the julep strainer. Let's do it. Show me how quick and efficient that is. Real fast. Yeah. And it's much easier to wash the julep strainer than this thing because you have to take the spring off. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like it's going to take you five hours, but there you go. All right. There you have it. There's a little bit about strainers. Enjoy. Cheers.